but still, Badger. Oh yes! Oh yes! Right lads, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Baggio. As you can see, we're still at Palermo. I applied for two jobs. The Roma job, got an interview for, didn't get it. Um, I'm just missing out. I'm a three star at the moment. Most of the jobs that are coming up, they're getting people that are four star or nearly four star. Um, the Napoli one and then it then came up a couple of weeks after. Um, they gave it to the Ajax manager. Uh, Roma gave it to Fonseca which was a little bit annoying so we're still at Palermo we're down to bare bones there was absolutely nothing that I could get my hands on in the January transfer window and we've got a fair few injuries today um, I don't know actually no by the looks of it we might be alright we've got Oliver Skip out um, we've had a couple of knocks to full backs and centre halves we've got one centre half out we did pick up one player in the transfer window on loan Sandro Muller, very decent young young centre half, known pretty much an Alonso's kind of guy, which is good because ever since we signed Muller on loan, Carrico's been injured twice, so we've desperately needed him. Form wise, hasn't been too bad. We've we've knocked the tactic onto cautious, so we're a little bit more better defensively, and um, we got knocked out. <coughs> excuse me to Roma in the uh, Coppa Italia, and then a very disappointing result. At home to Calgary, and I thought, shit, we are. So that's when I then put it on to um, Cautious. And then we picked up three consecutive wins. They're, they're struggling now down near the bottom, uh, Virtus and Teller. Udinese were top at the time, and we smashed them 6-3. David Marola getting himself a hat-trick. And then we picked up a nice little 1-0 one, one win. Very defensive, but very solid. We had 17 shots. They were playing like three at the back, two defensive midfielders, one attacking mid and a striker. So... Once we finally got that goal from a long a long shot from Chochev, it was pretty comfortable. Um, disappointing results in Milan and well, two Milans, Inter and then AC over the, over the course of a couple of days. But then we had decent away performance at Lazio, a decent performance at home against Napoli, Empoli who were down near the bottom, Kievo down near the bottom. So we went you know one two three four games clean sheets and then we just disappointed again. Bologna have turned a bit into my now bogey team. And then we've just been beaten 5-4 by Roma. Um, Paul, I know you're watching, buddy. There you are. You scored four against me. Including an 86th minute winner. I think it was the Inter game, actually. The Inter game, we were 2-0 we were up, which is a bit annoying. So we're struggling again. Get, we're picking points up against teams that we're expected to, and then we are struggling now against the sort of like the bigger teams getting those wins that we got last year. Today, I picked these two games, Genoa and Lecce, mainly because they're down near the bottom, both in the relegation zone. Um, top ten. We've just got Roma on a bit of a charge at the moment, which is a bit annoying. That might mean that their pippers are sort of like tenth place, but we're only two points behind Benevito, and they were right up there at the start of the season, and they've dropped down, as you can see. Udinese up there, top of the table, and then we'll just have to wait and see to the end of the season. I think this potentially might be the last episode of the season, and then we'll see where we're at in July. If we're still at Palermo, we'll do some transfers and dive into it. If we find a new job, we'll um, we'll start with that. So let's get into it. As I said, we are pretty thin on the ground now. We can't fill our bench. This has been working quite well for us, though. My flamenco one. We've just got it on cautious. Moise Keane is now leading the line for us. But I'm just going to go with Marola today. I'll tell you what, no. We'll go with Moise Keane. We'll go with Moise Keane in the first one. See how he gets on. And if we're still at Palermo, we can just gain a couple. Of, we just need to be stronger. Pretty much. Four new defenders. Three new midfielders. We might get by without not signing too much up the top end. We might get away with that, but we need to make our defence a lot stronger. So that'll be the priority. Four defenders in. Couple of midfielders. There we go, Lafaso. Oh, he's Mr. Sitter. There we go, Genoa's first highlight. Palombi. That's easy. Easy for the keeper. The highlight's going to continue, though. It's Karamoka. Cucurella. He's had a bit of a shocking season, to be honest. Lafaso. But he'll be alright as a backup. We'll get him in as a backup next year. Stratchuwaka. 
Lafaso. Same with Emerson. Emerson's not as bad, the right back. But at least the four defenders we've got in at the moment will all be sort of like the reserve ones next year. Just hope how we just need our reputation just to go up a little bit. We're kind of just missing out on that. Even the players that are in there, oh, I could say from the keeper, the players that are playing for sort of like the big six or seven, we got a bit lucky with Moyes Keane. Just hoping a few more of their players that are on the fringes of their team. Moyes Keane saved. We can get our hands on them. And obviously we're going to have to do some free transfers. Free transfers are going to be key. So we've only got about £7 million in the bank in terms of transfer budget. So that's not going to get us too far, is it? Let's just have a little push forward. You know what? So they are in 18th. Oh, well behind us in points. We were dragged into a little bit. Went as low as 16th at one point. But um, we did have a couple of games in hand. I think we had three games in hand on a few. And we've clawed ourselves away from it. Said so I want to finish 10th. And that's not bad going for us, I think. Twanzebe. Flanagan. Oh, good save. Ring controller. We just need to get that one clear chance. They're going to score. They have scored. He's had a few sniffs. Let's fuck it. Attack in. After I'd gone for the Napoli job as well, the Palermo board brought me in for a meeting and wanted to wanted me to sign a new contract. Um, and I just said, the choice would discuss new contract, stay at Palermo, or decline talks. And I just declined talks straight away. But it worked to be. It worked to be. I think potentially we're, next club we're looking at maybe a Fiorentina kind of level. He's going to be just under that top six or seven. Um, not a Calgary. Sampdoria potentially would be good, but obviously they're flying really high. Udinese as well, that would be one. They're flying really high. The rest of them are all a bit meh. Torino, I think, is the most likely manager to get sacked, but I don't know. Have they got Bellotti still? I think they might still have Bellotti. Oh, he's, they do, but he's going. He's going to Lazio. On a free. He's going to Lazio on a free. He's 30, I suppose. So that'd be an hard job, that. that probably be a lower step than Palermo, to be honest. Right, let's do some changes. We're going to change the front three. I like to do it a fair bit when you need a goal. Pedro Davies and Morello on. Go on, here, like, here we go, Pedro. Been poor. He's going to be offside, surely, yeah. About three yards offside. Well, it looks like this is going to be a really disappointing result. I think this is going to be... It is full-time. What a terrible, terrible start. Going from losing 5-4 to not being able to create absolutely anything. Right, we're back. Lecce, bottom of the league. We need to get ourselves three points. So 10th tenth, tenth is the aim. As I said, 10th is the aim. We'll make a few changes. We'll make a few changes, I think. I think it's needed up front, the front three. Right, I'm, right, and we're back. Just three changes, the three subs that come on. I've moved Pedro to the right. He's going as an inside forward. His contract is coming to an end. Alfonso Davies, the loan, he hasn't very play, played for us at all, and he's been pretty shocking. But his attribute says a handful. I've put him as a winger, so I've swapped the two roles over the two wide men. And then we've got Marola up front, who hasn't had a great season. I don't know, because we paid a lot. Excuse me, we paid a lot in loan fee. I don't know if I'll be picking him up next season. We will see. I'm hoping that he gets transfer listed. I'll probably make a permanent deal for him, but I don't want to be paying a million pound loan again. I said, let's see a bottom, well bottom. Here we go, Cucurella, Marola, back to Cucurella, Karamoka. Stacho, Karamoka, we're just keeping the ball nicely. Chochev, Emerson, slip him. Oh, I thought he was going to slip Pedro in then. He's found Marolo, hit the post and cleared. Good start from us. Nice bit of patient build up. Romo losing, that's good. We don't want them to do well. We do not want them to do well at all, the bastards. And then we've got Benevito next as well. So hopefully we can get a, get a couple of, get a win today and beat them. We'll be looking at top 10. 
Right, half, half time, nil nil. Now I know it's not great, not great for you guys watching, but just at the moment, I just want to keep it. I think the yeah, problem in the past was we just went a little bit too gung ho, and this cautious tactic just keeps us in the game, and it'll help us just scraping, hopefully, a couple of away game points that we weren't getting last season. We're winning our home games and losing our away games quite comfortably. Right, Cucurella. Oh, this is going to be great for them. No, we've got it down. No, nope. they're going to break on us potentially. Let's we can get a tackle in. We have done. We've broke it down. They've lost it. That's a great bit of great bit of football from both teams there. I think it is going to be their highlight. No, we've won it against Statuac. We've had about four turnovers in this game. In this highlight. Marola. Davies cutting in. Oh, he's put one right in the top corner. Get in. Lecce nil. Palermo. Palo, Palermo one. Top ten. Here we come. That's put us up to tenth. Nice. Don't want to look too far up because we've got Fiorentina and Calgary are not too far ahead of us. But I think we would have taken tenth at the start of the season for sure. Good keeping. He's been a good keeper. Good keeper. There's a few people leaving actually. Embalo's leaving. Obviously, we've lost Balotelli. We've lost uh, the striker, Mistrovic, or whatever he was called. Uh, Davis will go back. Skip will go back. I think we'll try and get Oliver Skip back. Davis, do it again. Oh, I could save from the keeper. And uh, Marola will go back. Uh, Pedro's going on a free. Uh, Polly's going on a free. So we're going to be down to bare bones again. So it'll mean that we'll have to we'll have to bring in at least ten players. I imagine maybe half of them, five, five, four or five of them, will be loanies. I would have thought. Right, let's just crank it up a little bit. We don't want to be letting them in. Who's had a stinker? Pedro's had a bit of a stinker. Let's go, Lucciarella. We'll get De Grasser on the youngster. He's got a little bit of pace. Here we go, Lucarella. Lucera. I was just up for negotiating a new contract with us. He's wanted. He's waiting about ten million, but because we're so limited in the transfer market, I don't think I can do much with that ten million. So I'll probably keep hold of him. He's probably been our one of our better players. Ooh, free kick, free kick, free kick. Oh god, I thought that was in. Was it right in the top corner? Concentrate. Very defensive. We should see it out. Oh, yeah, just, we've seen it out. That'll be game over. There it is. 1-0. You might not be happy with that, but I'm buzzing with that. This is where we've been picking up points. Good, solid away performances. And home performances as well. Keeping it tight at the back and then nicking a goal when we can. Sometimes balls down to who can score first, who gets that little bit of luck. Right, so that's put us actually in 10th, so... Up with that, 11 games to go. I think next episode, we'll just push on to the end of the season. Obviously, we're you know we're doing quite well. And I'm quite happy with where we are, but we're only going to be battling for what? Between 8th and 13th. So, I'm quite keen to push on and try and rebuild again for the summer. Strength, strengthen us up. We do have a considerable amount of players. We are short on players anyway. I think we've only got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've only got 21 players in the squad. 1, 2, 3, 4 on loan. So that puts us down to 17. And then... Embalo's already leaving 16. Pedro 15. Polly 14. So there's a bit of work, bit of work to be done. A bit of work to be done. Right, guys, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please drop a like in there. Subscribe if you are new. And if you haven't already seen it, which I'll be surprised if you haven't, on the channel, 10 teams to manage on 20, Football Manager 2020. Have a little look at that. Competition as well. Give yourself a chance at winning a copy of FM20 as well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Thursday. Cheers, guys.